Its growing awakened our ancestors, as it does us. The first thing that we eat in the morning is probably its egg. Poached, scrambled, hard-boiled, take your pick. And later in the day, we might end up eating its flesh, among the tenderest and the most readily available. What are we talking about? It is this guy. The domestic chicken. But have you ever wondered where this bird came from into our lives? Thereby hangs a tail. And it is not a cock and bull story. All domestic poultry are the descendants of this animal, the red jungle fowl. And where was the fowl domesticated? Was it Persia, Egypt, Greece? Well, the answer is none of these places. It was first domesticated in India. Surprised? Don't be, for there is proof. Seals have been found at the Indus Valley city of Mohenjo-daro, dating back to between 2500 BC and 2100 BC. And what do they represent? Fighting roosters. While most animals were domesticated for meat, the jungle fowl was domesticated for, yes, you guessed it right, fighting. That tradition survives to this day in India, though it is illegal. The breed used mostly is the Asil. However, this does not mean that the ancient Indians did not realize the nutritional importance of fowl. Rich in minerals such as copper and iron, the bird is valued as medicine in Ayurveda. Yeah, that is right, medicine. From India, the bird spread far and wide. It reached Persia, from where it went to Mesopotamia and then to Asia Minor. It reached Greece around the 7th or 8th century BC and Rome around the 5th or 6th century BC. Under Greco-Roman influence, the fowl became popular in ancient Egypt. It became very popular with the pharaohs, so much so that the tomb of a minister to Tutmos III has a rooster's head depicted in a mural. But the fowl was not done with its travels. It was introduced to China around the 13th or 14th century BC. From China, it spread to Russia and from there to Western Europe. The Celts and Germans knew about it before the birth of Christ. And if all that was not enough, in 1492, the fowl crossed the Atlantic with Christopher Columbus and reached America. Now that is one big journey. Today, after centuries of breeding, humanity has developed several different breeds of domestic chicken. Unfortunately though, the country that first domesticated the red jungle fowl has hardly any stock of the original bird left. Research indicates that there is very little purebred red jungle fowl left in India. Now that is a pity. Perhaps we should have counted our chickens before they hatched.